While the American government squanders billions of dollars funding a war against the Taliban in Pakistan that is going nowhere, private donations from America are quietly funding a very different approach, fighting ignorance and extremism with books, not bombs. The main reason that we are into education is to help girls get good quality education so it makes a difference in their lives. The nonprofit Developments in Literacy, or DIL, was started in California by Pakistani expatriates 11 years ago. It has been so successful that DIL now runs 150 schools throughout rural Pakistan. In these areas, conservative traditions are powerful, and modern education can be seen as a threat, especially for girls. Mothers who want to educate their daughters sometimes have to do it in secret. There are some boys who don't allow their sisters to study. With a quack quack here and a quack quack there. We have cases of uh, mothers whose the parents and the father doesn't know that the girls are going to school. They're objecting. And she hides the girls from the father and sends them to school. But basically when they come to us, they say, please make make them educated so that they don't have to live the lives we lived. The Taliban shut down schools and stripped women of their rights. But the Taliban is now fighting a guerrilla war in Pakistan, dependent on support from local villagers and dependent upon their ignorance. There have been threats to our schools. One of our schools was burnt down and we wanted to go back and rebuild it, but the parents were too scared to send their girls. Privately run community schools like these stand in stark contrast to these Pakistani public schools. In Pakistan, public schools are a disaster. <coughs> Pakistan's literacy rate of roughly 50 percent is more or less the same as when the country was founded in 1947. Yet the government spends only a tiny fraction of its budget on education. Even of the money that is spent, much doesn't make it down to the classroom. While the public education system in Pakistan seems stuck in the Stone Age, Dill has made tremendous strides in rural education, attracting some 13,000 students who might otherwise remain illiterate and cut off from the larger world. So many doctors. <laughs> One, two, three doctors. Teacher. What about you? Teacher. Okay.